There is a fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fulton Street Beats. This is the IYV base, and as you guys know, if you've watched the unboxing video, this is in a totally different color than what I ordered. And after a lot of research, I have found, well, I have found so far that I cannot find another one that is like this. This may be, for right now, a one-off, unless IYV plans on putting these things out more or... I'm not sure. It's not even on their website. So this came to me, and it was supposed to be in a natural finish. The box is labeled a natural finish and everything. But I've discovered some things that um, some other reviewers, or maybe it's just different. So I don't want to say they're wrong, but maybe it's just different. So these are really two volume knobs and two tones. They blend differently. So they're working with one pickup. So while you might think you're not turning it down, you are. What it's doing is it's turning down one side or the other. But it does create a, a really good tone effect. It almost gives us a dual pickup setup out of one pickup. So it's pretty cool. We're going to demonstrate that here in a little bit. So what can I tell you about this bass? It's set up perfectly out of the box. Um, I kind of assumed that it was. I simply had to tune it up. It's good to go. There's no fret buzz. It sounds really good. It's got really good strings on it. It's got a great nut. The action is slammed right down and perfect. And the neck is great. Everything's great. It is all 100% CNC'd. And uh, even your knobs are recessed into um, a little cavity right here. They're just recessed down. It's got a high mass bridge. Um, you can't really tell, but this finish on the back is a, a really, it's, it looks black, but it's really like a dark, dark, dark cherry red um, you really have to get it in a certain weight to notice that and it's beautiful the fade is beautiful i was going to send it back and get the natural but i think i'm going to roll with this finish is great the only plot problem with this base was that they got compound all over it and it's still in the back holes here if you take a look and i just threw a cheap strap on for now because well all my other straps are on other guitars so we're going to order another one up today Tuners are holding fine. They work great. I'm not a big fan of black hardware, but it does have it. We may change to gold later on or even maybe nickel. I'm not sure yet. But as far as fit finish, it's great. It's fantastic. I have zero complaints. I can't complain. But how does it sound? So let's do that right now. Let's uh, demo it and see exactly what we got going on with it. Now, I'm going to play a little bit through and um add some things in if you get some wonky sounds i apologize it's because i'm recording with a couple different devices right now so but i'm going to give you true sound we're going to run this through this little like i always do this little new vox practice amp it's a 10 watt amp um got two five inch drivers not that that makes a difference because we're going to be running directly into my audio interface no effects, no compression, no nothing, just bass. We have the bass turned up on this um, about halfway. Uh, volume is going to be about a quarter where we usually run it, and treble is going to be almost half. And that's where I'm going to keep it to get in. I think that that's the best settings for this amp to give you an idea of what this bass actually sounds like. Zero effects, guys. So stay right there. I'll be right back with that. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is demonstrate the volume when the backing track starts. And the volumes are off right now, but I'm gonna kinda demonstrate. So what we have now is the tones, both tones rolled all the way on, these two. These volumes are rolled all the way off. So I'll show you how we can roll in, and these are actually volumes, and I understand how you can get confused and think it's tone, 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 because if you don't use them in the correct fashion, that's how they come across. So, um, 
Let's do this in three, two, and I'm going to clap the line up. So here we go. Number two. Okay, now we're gonna leave those on. We'll turn those up. We're gonna keep the tones on all the way. There we have that. Now we're gonna try this. Now, roll the tones off. But now, you'll see nothing's turned down. But that one is turned down. So it's a splitting, it's splitting the sides. Okay? So let's roll it off. So we just, so just so you know, not a tone. It's turning down one side of the pickup. Mistakes are being made. So here we go, tones on. So these volumes are joined together in a different fashion to blend tones, which is cool. So let's keep this volume up, turn this volume down, roll the tones all the way back and this volume off. for the missed notes, but I'm just testing. We'll roll this tone all the way on. Now we will turn this volume all the way up. Very deep, tones on and deep. 
All right. We're gonna turn the treble up a bit. Let's see what we got here. So very, very a very clean bass. just to give an idea of the tone. So not some serious playing. Um, we're gonna do a backing track later on and actually lay down some grooves, but I think you guys needed to hear. If you're hearing any buzz, that's because of my technique. It's a great sound in bass, and uh, I'm going to keep it. It's a keeper. But I hope that that helps. Now, we're going to go over these tones one more time. So we have volumes all the way on right now, and the tones are all the way on. So... We're going to roll off this tone. Roll off this tone. Now we're going to roll, keep these tones off, and we're going to roll off this volume, which can be mistaken for a tone if you don't know how it works. And change it. Gonna roll off this volume and down to nothing. See how that works? Now let's roll this one on. And there's our other volume. Now turn this one on. And this one down. The difference in tone changes tone because it's changing the volume setting, they're integrated in together. They did a cool wiring job is what it is, so. And all the way off. And all the way off. Now we can turn the tones up. off that's what they did they've split the volumes but they've made this second volume kind of act like a tone and it's really cool because it gives you just that much more to work with um thump it cool guys i hope you like this episode i'm experimenting and i wanted to bring you along for the ride while we're right here <laughs> it's a very stable bass too thanks for watching fulton street beats i hope you hit that like button share and subscribe we'll be back with more on this a little more in depth a little more professional but I wanted to share. Thanks guys. Bye.
Thank you.